All right, gear breakdown. These are some of the specific food and gear items we'll be taking on this hunt. First up, the Onyx Hunt app downloaded to my phone. No longer are the days of a traditional GPS unit. All of my mapping and navigational needs are now right here on my phone via the Onyx Hunt app. One critical thing to do before you hit the woods and go out of service is to download the offline maps of the area that you plan to hunt. This will allow you to access all of your base maps as well as waypoints, etc. Uh, while you are out of service. And to do that, it's super simple. You're just gonna press offline maps, uh, new map, and then you'll drag this around to the area you plan to hunt. Um, choose your resolution. I'm gonna go 10 miles wide and press save. Then when you're out of service, you can pull up on X and you can still navigate with your phone. Next up is the whole suite of optics from Loophole. First up are binoculars. So these are Leupold's BX5 Sand MHDs in the 12 by 50. I've got them mounted on a Leupold Alpine tripod with a Leupold uh, tripod adapter. Uh, glassing, especially big country off of a tripod is so sneaking nice. Definitely a must for this hunt. Uh, I will also be rocking the new BX4 Range HDs. Um, I don't have a pair of those, there's only like two in existence. Uh, so I'll pick those up uh, in Oregon. The rifle that I'll be using, this is a Tika T3X and a 7mm Rev Mag. Got a loophole the BX5 HD scope on the top with uh, 3 to 15 power. Uh, it's really a great zoom range, you know, free power. I can go super wide and if I need to zoom in to make a 500 plus yard shot, I can definitely do that with this scope. Also got Leupold's flip up scope covers on the front and the back. These are awesome, they're aluminum, they're super burly. And also when this piece is up like this, you can actually push it down one more time so it's flush against the uh, scope. The bipod on the front of this, this is an Atlas bipod. Uh, it's a military grade bipod, just super burly, just swell. You can twist and can't, um, really like this thing. This is gonna be a backpack styled hunt. We're gonna be camped in for four to five nights. So backpack I'll be running. This is a Mystery Ranch Marshall, 6,500 cubic inches. The bag could separate from the frame. Uh, so you could put a full deer between the bag and the frame while also carrying all of your camp. Really awesome bag. Since this is an early season hunt and the weather's looking really nice, we're gonna try to save a few pounds and not bring a traditional tent. Instead, I'm gonna bring this z uh 7x9, Dyneema tarp, only weighs 4.9 ounces. This is Sitka's Kelvin Aero Light 30 bag, and what I love about it is you can wear it. No longer is a sleeping bag just meant for sleeping, now it's actually part of your layering system. You know, I can walk around in really cold weather while wearing this, I could get out walk around camp, I could even get up in the middle of the night, use the restroom without actually taking my sleeping bag off. So, absolutely love this thing. Cam so we'll be using, this is the MSR wind burner. For water purification, I'll be using this Katadyne Be Free 3 liter gravity feed filter. Again, the weather's looking pretty nice for this hunt, so one piece of gear I'm excited to try out is this piece, which is the Sitka Ambient Hoodie. The Ambient Hoodie is a lightweight puffy jacket that you can wear while being active. Uh, while you're hiking up the mountain, and you can wear this thing and not overheat. It also traps heat quite well, so this is the only puffy jacket I'm bringing on this hunt. A few other things I like about it, very, very quiet face fabric. If this was a bow hunt, um, you could actually bow hunt in this thing. It's not a bow hunt, obviously, but I love having a quiet face fabric. It also has got very minimal weight consequence. Peaks, Backcountry Duo Headlamp, Montana Knife Company Speed Goat Knife, Game Bags from Orange Glow. For dinner every night, Gastronome Freeze Dries. And at breakfast, I'm a coffee drinker, so Gastronome Coffee. Couple of my favorite snacks. First off, Big Sur Bar. No preservatives in this thing. It's got 600 calories, a lot of good ingredients. Super good. Honey Stinger Waffle. And lastly, Cliff Shot Blocks.